Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time seeing this face or if this is your first time coming across my videos, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your constant support. Like, it means so much and you already know how I feel about you guys, so thanks a lot. So yes, today I'm back with another video, okay? And I know that lately I've been talking so much about Ghana, being in Ghana and stuff like that. But I feel like this is going to be the last video that I'll be doing for this month regarding Ghana and, you know, my experience in Ghana and all that stuff. I have new content coming in that you guys are going to love. So make sure you are subscribed and you are, your notification button, notification bell is turned on. So yes, let's get started with this video. Okay, so in today's videos, I'm going to be talking about five things that I love about Ghana, five things that I absolutely enjoy about Ghana, that I love about Ghana. And I feel like these things are things that I don't even have to like write about or think about it too much because whenever I'm out there, out of Ghana or anywhere I find myself, and I want to talk about Ghana, these are the things that I say first. Okay, so I really just love the fact that there are certain things that I couldn't stop talking about whenever I'm outside like there are certain things that I just admire about Ghana and I'm here to talking about and I'm here to talk about it so guys there are five things that I absolutely love about Ghana number one thing on my list that makes me want to come here every time I just know that this is it I feel secure when I'm here it gives you security it brings life to the country is the electricity I talk about it in all my videos like Whenever I'm making any video, I'm always adding it to it, like, okay, this is what I love about Ghana. Like, when you come here, there's constant electricity, and there's no one that will come to my channel to tell me that there's a place or a, or a city or a state in Nigeria that constantly have light or electricity. I'm not here to compare or anything, but I'm just stating facts that when I'm here, I love the idea of being in Ghana. Like, Ghana just gives me peace. Like, the electricity is on another level. Like, especially for a content creator like myself, you are getting ready to shoot the content, you don't have to start planning or waiting for the day when you know, okay, it's your own turn to start having lights or on this week you'll be having lights. Like, you know you don't have to do all that. And in Ghana, you don't even need change. Like, 99% of Ghanaians don't have generator. And in Nigeria, when you go to, they don't have generator. And in Ghana, most villages, like all the villages you go to, Despite it's a village, you go there, but there is still light. Like, it doesn't matter if it's a city, if it's a state, if it's a village, like, whatever it is, there's always, like, whenever you go there, you're always guaranteed to meet the electricity is constant, it's 24 hours. So, I really like that about Ghana. And if at all they plan on taking the light, they always just, like, give notification ahead, like, you hear it in the radio or in the news that, oh, so on this week, we're going to be taking the light for, like, maybe a few hours, or there will be lights out tonight and stuff like that and i really admire that about ghana so yes that's the one thing i love about ghana and the two thing that i love about ghana is security like i will always put this out there like whatever time it is wherever you are your location whatsoever okay yeah it does determine your location but in ghana the the security i'm going to rate it 90 over 100 because any time of the day any time of the night like you are secure, you feel secure to just walk around because you know the security here is tight. And some of the um, robbers and all that, you barely even hear of robbery and all that here in Ghana because you know that like, they are scared to even go out there to take, like, carry out robbery because you know the police are going to come after them and then they are going to catch them. Yeah, like, let me tell you guys an experience that I had here in Ghana at Makola Market. I went to Makola Market with my friend to shop for my birthday and a pickpocket picked my phone on our way to me later that day i was looking for my phone i couldn't find it then i was using an iphone xx max i couldn't find it so i got home feeling sad you know it's a few days to my birthday it kind of ruined my birthday experience anyways but yeah i was feeling sad feeling disappointed but i had this idea that okay if my phone was stolen at Makula Market, they would probably take you to Circle to sell the phone. So I'm like, okay, let me give it a try and just go to Circle. So I went to Circle after praying and manifesting, manifesting it. I went to Circle and the first shop that I entered, my phone was brought to me because I had a pack and, you know, the serial number could be traced back to my phone. And lucky for me, I just manifested it and I felt like it was going to happen. I was going to get my phone back. So I already reported the issue to the police. Though police people, they were laughing at me and looking for me, like, but they were like, okay, go ahead, if you find your phone, we're always there for you. So yeah, I found the phone and 
I kept telling the guy that this is my phone. He wouldn't believe. Then I already told my fiance, he was then my fiance, my, my husband, who is then my fiance, I already told him that I'm going to circle. On getting there, I called him, I'm like, I found my phone. He couldn't believe it, but then he came to circle. He came with some guys. On getting there, he um came with some guys. I'm getting there, we started threatening them. I mean, like, oh, this is linked to you. It's going to, like, complicate you. Like, how did you guys come across this phone and all that? So they apologized and all that. And I was even offered, I think, about 400 Ghana cities to my part, together with my phone. Or is it 700 Ghana cities? I can't really remember because it was, like, 2020 or 2021. That's when it happened. So, yeah, I was offered some money. Although I didn't use the money, I just gave it out to beggars because I, I'm grateful. It's... I'm grateful enough that I got my phone, so that was more than enough for me. But the point here is that they quickly offered my phone back to me with an extra money on top of it to say, okay, we are sorry. Even if he wasn't the one that stole the phone, he knew that it was going to complicate him. So I love that about Ghana. Any other country, they would even stand on their gun and tell you it doesn't concern them. They don't know how this phone is mine and they bought the phone, blah, blah, blah. It would have been a long story. So yeah, I love that about Ghana, the security. They were afraid, they were scared of going to jail, they were scared of getting the police involved in the matter because they know if, if they get involved in the matter, that issue is on another level, like it has escalated. So <laughs> yeah, security is top notch in this country. Now my favorite thing that I absolutely love about this country is the quietness. <laughs> okay, like Ghana is peaceful. They don't, they don't fight, they don't, it's Ghana that you come to and then you see two people Boiling and shouting and uh, after shouting and shouting and shouting at the end of the day it doesn't lead to any fight this one will go to their own way this one will go to their own way and that's it the, the only thing they know how to do is they know how to shout but they don't fight and i admire that about them in my country if you are shouting is leading to fights one person is breaking both door on your head you get so i really love that about ghana like the, the place is peaceful they made it peaceful you know as much as they don't like strangers okay some of them do like strangers don't get me wrong um but they love themselves yeah so i think i love that about ghana like the peace so number four thing that i love about ghana is the cleanliness like ghana is so clean like yo i'm not even going to lie <laughs> like i talked about my experience last time on my other video that when i was in ghana i learned discipline in this posing thing is like usually when i eat something i just throw it off the ground because you know my country <laughs> no one cares <laughs> so but getting here getting here i realized that you don't just throw things off anyhow like i did it before i just threw things on the ground and someone like a citizen came to me i was shouting i was quarreling me i was even ready to like fight with me you know like next time don't throw it on the ground now pick it up it was embarrassing for me to get so i picked it up looked for the nearest bin and i disposed of it but in my country, <laughs> anywhere you go to, the citizens don't care, governments don't care. Okay, the governments like provide uh, a way of cleaning the country, but the citizens, they don't care. But in Ghana, both the citizens and the governments, they are trying to make it work. So it's not just, oh, the government is not trying, like citizens and governments are trying to make it work. The citizens are trying to keep it clean. The citizens are trying to keep it clean so it's not a one-man job like they are doing their duty as a can as Ghanaians like okay if I want my country clean I have to contribute in keeping it clean so what they do is like when they have like dirt all over the place they themselves pick it up you see them coming out in the morning to sweep out their their place to make it clean so I really love that about Ghana I feel like it's super nice that they keep their country clean like kudos to Ghanaians you guys are doing amazing amazingly well when it comes to that so another thing that i love about ghana is you guys <laughs> i am a content creator okay aside from being a content creator i love traveling so anytime i'm ready to travel there's always somewhere to go to like the level of tourist tourist place or tourist attractions that they have in this country it's on another level and that's why ghana is top i think top most like most visited um, country african country like a lot of people want to come here to come and experience the um, tourist attractions they have here so i love that about ghana like you want to travel you want to experience new things hop on a bus you don't even have to book a flight just go on a bus and you are on a trip going to somewhere new somewhere you're going to find something amazing and aside from that they don't just it's just not it's any other country can have tourist attractions right but the thing about ghanians is they keep it going 
like whether or not people are coming there they don't turn it into something else Ghanaians, they, they they keep if they know that okay this is a rare something that people are going to be interested in seeing you see them keeping it clean and then charging people tourists to, before going there they charge you to like okay before going there they will charge you like okay before you see this thing you have to pay the reason you are paying is that they are paying workers to make that place clean and to keep that place going you get and as someone who travels a lot i have been to so many places in my country where i'm disappointed at what i'm seeing and i don't feel like i feel like the governments are not doing well enough to actually keep that place going like they could do something you could charge tourists to come and visit that place like honestly if i was in a position to do something about that situation like i already know what to do i already know okay this is how we keep this place going make it safe pay people make people to like pay for make people pay to come and see this place like that is how you keep somewhere like that going so that's what i love about ghana and aside from them having tourist attractions like whenever you feel like going anywhere like you just want to go to the beach or you just want to take pictures or you just you just want to go out like i said the nearest place is not far from you like just yesterday i went to the beach and it wasn't even far it was like it wasn't even i think 20 minutes 16 minutes there about i'm already at the beach and there are so many beaches here in accra that not even accra alone there are so many beaches around that you could just decide that, okay i'm not going to this one today i'm going to the next one and then you would still have fun you would still enjoy your time there so i love that whenever you feel like you want to go somewhere you can quickly just hop on a car or on a bus and just go and go anywhere without the plan without thinking of plane ticket or how expensive it would be it's not always expensive to go out so i really really love that about ghana like i i think it's amazing that they keep that going like that like honestly i, I don't think this should be the last i think it should have been the first for me because i absolutely adore that about ghana like the way they keep their tourist attractions going the way whenever you feel like you want to go out there's always somewhere there for you to go to i love it i absolutely love it like so another thing that i love about ghana is you see the taxes <laughs> i love how small their taxes are like when i came here it felt like it was a foreign country like a an abroad okay like it just felt foreign okay seeing small cars like i felt like it made it in uniform get so most of the taxes here and there's even a, a tag to taxify that okay this is this this is a taxi and i absolutely love that about ghana i felt like they they did well with that like making it in uniform other countries that i've been to you don't really see them putting their caps like that like okay taxi or in uniform or i think here most of their caps comes in the same color you see red yellow or blue like they just make it so you know that this is a taxi like you're able to differentiate a taxi and a regular car and i love that about ghana like i feel like that i don't know who came up with that idea but i feel like that is what put ghana on top notch like it's it's one of the things that you come to ghana you don't see anywhere else too i mean you see it somewhere else but not most african countries don't keep up with that so i love ghana for that i love how their little taxes just look all cute when you walk in there yeah. the first time i came in i was actually taking pictures you know like my first time in ghana it, it felt foreign so i was standing close to a taxi and i was taking selfies taking pictures like you know i'm in ghana yeah i was loving it and i was, I was feeling myself you get so yes that's another thing that i love about ghana so yeah like keeping the place clean makes the place looks foreign it makes um when foreigners come in they don't want to like look down on the country because it's clean already and it has a lot to offer when your country is clean it's just it gives it a lot you get so i love that about ghana so yes guys those are the things that i love about ghana i hope you enjoy this very short i don't know if this video is too short anymore because it's so yes it's just like i said make sure you subscribe to this channel more amazing videos are coming your way okay see you on my next video bye